today. We're going to win. We're going to fight, 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 fight. There's a football coach, and then there's the football coach at Notre Dame. Because nobody does it like Notre Dame. Inside Notre Dame Football with Brian Kelly is brought to you by Team Notre Dame members Adidas, Gatorade, McDonald's, Coca-Cola, Sprint, and Xerox. Inside Notre Dame Football is also sponsored by Bank of America, CBTS, Xfinity from Comcast, Mazda, Meyer, Notre Dame Federal Credit Union, Sirius XM Satellite Radio, and UPS. Hello Irish fans and welcome to the third season of Inside Notre Dame Football with Brian Kelly. I'm Jack Nolan coming to you today from the pitch here at Aviva Stadium in the heart of Dublin where the Fighting Irish have just opened the 2012 campaign with a dominant 50 to 10 win over the midshipmen of Navy. Now over the next 30 minutes we'll talk with head coach Brian Kelly about all the things he was pleased with from this game. We'll also hear from some of the players who played key roles in this victory. But first we want to take you inside the Notre Dame locker room before this game began to hear what Coach Kelly had to say to his team. Hey, there's a million things we could talk about right now, but it's time to play. And you gotta remember one thing when you play this game, you have to play together. The 2012 football team starts today. What are we about? Well, if we're about sticking together, if we're about playing every play, if we're about four quarters of winning, the game's already over. You guys have worked, You've paid the price, you've sacrificed. Now go play the game. This is your reward day. This is where you get to be rewarded for all the work. Go do it. Watching sports on Xfinity from Comcast is like having a front row seat to the biggest moments. With NFL Red Zone, ESPN Goal Line, and the Watch ESPN app, you're right there for all the action. This is the Xfinity Sports Experience. This is awesome. You won't get all this with satellite or U-verse. Sign up for Xfinity TV and internet, just $79.99 a month for six months with the sports entertainment package included for three months. Xfinity, your home for the most live sports. Call 1-800-XFINITY today. The HTC Evo 4G LTE from Sprint is now available in white. Evo lets you hear what you love with Beats Audio and capture what you love with both video and stills. It's everything you love about Evo in white. Available only at Sprint Stores and Sprint.com. Your first move doesn't happen on the field. It happens before your opponent even sees you. It can leave you hanging, steal your spark. Your first move can jeopardize everything you've worked for. Or fuel it. Your first move can set up your success before you've even played the game. Carb energy to fuel athletes. Gatorade Prime, part of the G-Series. Hey, it's Sandra from Accounting. Peter. Uh, I can see that you're busy, uh, but you were going to help us crunch the numbers for accounts receivable today? I mean, I know that this is important. Well, both are important. They Let's are. Get clear. Uh, but this is this is important too. The receivables. Michelin knows it's better for Xerox to help manage their finance processing, so they can focus on keeping the world moving. With Xerox, you're ready for real business. When your chain of supply goes from here to Shanghai, that's logistics. Chips from here, boards from there, track it all through the air, that's logistics. Clearing customs like that, hurry up, no time flat, that's logistics. All new technology UPS brings to me, that's logistics. Notre Dame won the toss and elected to receive against the midshipmen. The Irish then proceeded to put together an impressive 11 play, 75 yard scoring drive in the game's first possession. Was it critical that the Irish score first against Navy? Well, not necessarily, but it never hurts to get on the board first against a triple option team. And we knew the possessions 
are, are going to be um, fewer and fewer than, than traditional games. So there is a great importance. I'm not trying to minimize it, but I don't think we looked at each other and said, hey, if we don't score, we're in trouble. But that definitely added to the momentum. Normally it takes any team a while, seven, eight minutes, to adjust to the speed at which Navy runs that offense. It took your team about two minutes. Our physical play, though, I think had a lot to do with it. Inside, uh, Tuit and Knicks were, were outstanding. Uh, our edge got set very well. It was nice to see 11 players all disciplined to the point where we get a stop on fourth down and first drive. That's, that, that was key. Beginning of last year, Theo Riddick is a slot receiver. Now he's a power back. How did that happen? <laughs> well, I think he's always had that style. He's reckless in a sense that he's, he's not afraid. He'll run up inside, he'll run outside. I think he's always had it in him. I think he's back home where, where he's always uh, felt like he could really help our football team. And, he certainly did on Saturday. George Atkinson's 56-yard touchdown run was very impressive, but you see that a lot in practice. We do. He's a big play guy. He got great blocking downfield. Uh, Tavares Daniels was outstanding in terms of, you know, holding onto a block just so he could, you know, break away. And that's the kind of effort that we got. We played the game the right way, and you're going to get big runs with George because he he can he can certainly go. Talk about the things you liked about the touchdown pass play to Tyler Eifert. Uh, it had to be precise, and uh, he put it away from the defender. Great ball location. And let Tyler Eifert be 6'5". You know, when you let him be 6'5", he's going to take the ball away from you. So it, it had a lot of work to it. I know it looked easy on TV, but um, that's something that Everett has worked really hard on. All of our quarterbacks have worked really hard in, in placing that football away from the defender, and that was the most pleasing. What is your evaluation of Everett Golson's first start? You know, I think it's like any, any first-time start. You're looking to see if the game's too fast for him, if he's over his head, uh, if he can't lead, if he can't communicate, uh, and he did all of those things very well. Uh, certainly he's got a lot of things that he's got to continue to work on, but we knew this going in. We knew it was going to be a process and take time. But the things that the head coach at Notre Dame is most concerned with is, is it too much for you to go out there? And at no time did we sense that uh, the game is, is too fast for him. He really welcomes the opportunity to be out there, um, shows great poise. Sometimes after the game you give a player or two players a game ball, but you honored both units yesterday. Yeah, I think it was up front. There was no question that, you know, when you run for a rush for close to, you know, I don't think 290 yards and, you know, you're, you're limiting a, a great option offense to under 150. Um, that's, that's a good day by both offensive and defensive lines. The dominating victory over Navy was achieved with a good mix of veteran experience and young up and coming talent. Eight Notre Dame players made the first start of their Irish careers against Navy, and 20 Irish players saw the first game action of their careers, including nine true freshmen. We knew we were going to need these guys to come in and play for us this year, and we're going to take it one week at a time, but we know that there's going to be a time that they're going to be counted on, and what a great way to get them in. There's not going to be a road trip that they're going to be uh, hesitant or uh, concerned. They can go anywhere now and feel comfortable they can go in and play the game. Are you a fan of Demoisier? Um, Demoisier who? Okay, you can't get by on just your looks forever. Okay. You just ordered a premium roast coffee and a savory sausage McMuffin for only a dollar each off McDonald's dollar menu at breakfast. So you know you're smart. He has a certain je ne sais quoi, you know? Ooh, tu quoi français? Yeah. Oh yeah. All the time. The simple joy of being smart. How do you make summer feel 90 days longer? Get to the Mazda Summer Drive. Because you can save big on a 2012 Mazda 3 with no payments for 90 days and 0% APR for 60 months. 
So get our hottest deal of the summer on the 40 MPG Highway Mazda 3 with Sky Active Technology. 0% APR for 60 months, no payments for 90 days. Only at the Mazda Summer Drive. And only for a limited time. At Meyer, you'll find fresh foods at refreshingly low prices. Which means Janet here doesn't have to employ the usual produce selection techniques. She doesn't do the thump, the squeeze, or the sniff. Nope, Janet has her own way of selecting her fruits and veggies, the grab and go. Because no one offers more farm fresh foods delivered daily at low Meyer prices. Experience the savings, experience the difference. Meyer. Who stood out to you on defense? I think you always start with Manti. Him being around the ball, him centering everything through him, I thought he played very, very well. Uh, it was nice to see Eshaq Williams play as a dominant player that we think he can be. He made some outstanding plays, and of course, how, how can you not talk about Stephon Tewitt? How in the world does he outrun an entire Navy offense made up of small, fast guys. He has exhibited that. In our summer workouts, Coach Longo would talk about during our 350s, which is, you know, around the outside of the field, he would run his times up near where the DBs and the wide receivers would run. So it's just a, a, a young man that is so blessed. Now, you know, Navy is never going to roll over. They never will. So they come out in the second half, hit you with a, with a quick three-pass scoring drive, but you come right back with a, a drive that marched down the field and ate up some time. It was a great answer to that quick strike that, that Navy and took away any of the momentum that they thought they may have. And the big play was a pass play to Troy Nicholas, the fans' first opportunity to see him. He's fun to coach. Uh, we're excited about the progress that he's making. And you know, I told him it'll be, look, it's, it's a scorecard in golf. He's got a lot of birdies and a lot of bogeys, and uh, we're, we're going to get him down to the point where it's consistent each week. Your final touchdown was a nine-yard run by Robbie Toma, and I think every member of your team got up to go out and congratulate him. Well, we were scrambling there. We, George, we didn't want to play. He was a little banged up, and certainly, um, you know, we had seen enough for Riddick. Cam had a little bit of an ankle, and Robbie said, I'm ready. I said, Do, can you run the inside zone? We just want to run it inside and, and end this game. And of course, he runs the inside zone, cuts it back, and makes two people miss. And um, it was a pretty exciting run. 35,000 Americans is now the number flew over there for the game, the biggest in a single sporting event ever to leave the country. What's it say about this program that this program can do this kinds of things and make that kind of impact? Well, we're doing it on the backs of all the work that's come before us. You know, that's why we feel there's an obligation, our players feel it, the staff feels it, that, that we want to create a great environment by the way we play and the way that we handle ourselves as, as players. And I think that's the energy that you saw on, on Saturday was an appreciation for what Notre Dame holds to so many people. There is your final score. Notre Dame hits the 50-point mark for the first time in a season opener since 1983 against Purdue. Here now a look at your final stats provided by UND.com. The Irish dominated the rushing battle against a program known for having a great running attack. Notre Dame also won the turnover battle, which is always an important stat, but especially when you play the Naval Academy. UND.com, the official website of Notre Dame Athletics, has a camera on the sidelines at every Notre Dame football game home and away. This week we unveil a new feature here on Inside Notre Dame Football called the UND.com Inside Angle of the Week. As we go to break, here's our season opening angle. I would definitely lean on the seniors, um, including myself, just just in terms of keeping all the young guys focused and, and, and doing what Coach Kelly wants on a day-to-day -day basis. And uh, you've seen it today. We came out here, we are focused. We definitely didn't play a perfect game, but I mean, we played a good enough game to get us 50 points. Riddick led like a senior Saturday, rushing for 107 yards and two touchdowns on 19 carries. But after the game, Riddick gave the credit for his big day to the offensive line. They were blocking very, very well, had uh, open holes, and you've seen it today. I mean, um, 
we had great yards and, and we played very well today. You know, like Coach Kelly said, you know, he, he relies on us to be a strong point in this team. And, um, you know, obviously we, we got a, a lot of experience on our O-line and, you know, that we, we know we got to put on our shoulders to get the job done. Speaking of getting the job done, not only did defensive end Stefan Tuitt collect three tackles in a sack Saturday, he also scooped up a fumble and raced away from the entire Navy offense, 77 yards for a second quarter touchdown. Not bad for a guy who stands six feet, six inches tall and weighs in at 303 pounds. Uh, I got the help from Ishak from hitting the quarterback, and uh, I'm thankful for doing that because other than that, if he didn't do that, I would have never had it. So. I thank him for that one, but the running the speed, that was just all hard. <laughs> 300 pound running down. Did you know you were that fast that you could outrun back? <laughs> I haven't seen anything. My eyes were closed. <laughs> when Inside Notre Dame Football returns, we celebrate the 125th year of Notre Dame football with a special feature on coaching legend Era Parsegian. We love seeing you at Bank of America. Well, we know you want to be able to bank wherever you are. Bank of America Mobile Banking lets you bank on your schedule. Now you can securely deposit checks you get right away with your smartphone camera. Watch this. It doesn't get more convenient than that. See? Success. It's amazing. Check balances, pay bills. And much, much more. Right here. Bank on your schedule and deposit checks on the go. Download the Bank of America Mobile Banking app today. I need to get back to work. Three, two, one. It's hard to call it radio when it's this out of the box. Listen to that. <laughs> Man, you know just what to say. You might be a redneck. Yeah. Fox News alert on several dramatic new developments. Frank Sinatra. You're a delightful audience. Let's go to Margaritaville, to the 10, to the 5. Touchdown. This is satellite radio. Welcome to Sirius XM. The Notre Dame Athletic Department is celebrating the 125 years of Notre Dame football in many different ways this season. For example, every day this season, a special 125 year Notre Dame football moment will be released on UND.com. And every week on Inside Notre Dame Football, we will show you one of these 125 year features. On this show, you are in for a special treat as Eric Parsegian and Father Hesburgh talk about Era's hiring at Notre Dame. Father Joyce had done the screening process and he came to me and he said uh, that Father Hesburgh uh, would like to meet me. I didn't know where I stood, how many other candidates there were, but we met in a hotel uh, on the south side of Chicago and uh, that was a, an interview with Father Hesburgh and Father Joyce, which was quite a treat for me. Father Nether set up an appointment with there up on 58th on the lake. It's a hotel at the end of Lake Michigan. And we drove up in a blizzard, I remember, one night. We met there about 9 o'clock, and I said, Eric, have you read our articles of administration for athletics? He said, I have. And I said, they're fairly strict. Are you prepared to follow them to the letter? And he said, I am. Father Hesburgh said to me, he says, if you win the national championship and uh, we find that you have cheated to do that, he said, you're gone. You'd be dismissed. If you have a winning season, if you have a 500 season, uh, you're still going to be my coach as long as you live within the NCAA and the University of Notre Dame rules. And it was very specific, and I, would, I felt comfortable about it because I had coached at Miami of Ohio and Northwestern, and my record was clean on that issue. So it was a very positive point from uh, both of our standpoints. When I heard that Father Ned said that we should talk to him, I called up the president of Northwestern, and I said, uh, I understand Error wants to talk to us. Is that okay with you? Because at the moment, he was a coach at Northwestern. And the president laughed on the phone and he said, Father Teddy said, you're the only one I know in this business that doesn't go hunting without a license. Nobody else would have called me up and told me they're gonna to talk to the coach. But I can tell you that I know he's gonna leave. He's told me he's gonna leave. And if he does, it'd be great he goes to Notre Dame. And so the whole thing came off with goodwill and much friendship. Coach Parsegian earned his way into the College Football Hall of Fame by winning 95 games and two national championships 
in 11 seasons at the helm of the Irish. For more 125 year Notre Dame football moments, log on to UND.com every day this fall and click on the 125 year logo. Notre Dame captain and offensive tackle Zach Martin was one of the outstanding performers on an offensive line that dominated the Navy defense Saturday. Now let's see how he holds his ground against my questions during the return of the always popular inside Notre Dame football 62nd drill. Player on the team most like you? Um, Chris Watt. Toughest practice drill? Uh, dry block drill. Favorite Notre Dame tradition? Uh, the walk. Favorite training table meal? Prime rib. One player Irish fans will be surprised by this season? Sheldon Day. Favorite ice cream flavor? Uh, mint chocolate chip. If you were a professor, what class would you teach? History. Toughest player to block on the team? Step onto it. Hardest hitter on the team? Carlo Calabres. Player on the team most likely to become a coach? Tommy Reese. Best singer on the team? Tosh Stockton. Best dancer on the team? Theo Riddick. Best comedian on the team? Uh, Dan Fox. Best dresser on the team? Uh, Theo Riddick. Worst dresser on the team? Tosh Stockton. Best thing about playing for Notre Dame? Uh, the tradition and the, uh, you know, the, the guys who play with me. Zach Martin, you've completed 60 seconds on Inside Notre Dame Football. Thank you. When your chain of supply goes from here to Shanghai, that's logistics. Chips from here, boards from there, track it all through the air, that's logistics. Clearing customs like that, hurry up, no time flat, that's logistics. All new technology UPS brings to me, that's logistics. I'm very happy I made the switch. It's easy. They're great. As I go out, being nervous about going out into the world. You switch because... For what you get and what, what they give back. Of the people. It just be another thing that I know is there for me all the time. It's a no-brainer. It's about family. It's about values. It's about doing things the right way. And that's why I'm sticking with them. You just get sucked in, and it's great. We're there. Notre Dame Federal Credit Union. Come home. You know you're going to get the best when you go to Notre Dame Federal Credit Union. It's time now for this week's Ask Coach Kelly question presented by CBTS. This week's question comes from Gene McGovern of Minersville, Pennsylvania. Gene asks, Coach, have you ever considered having your quarterbacks wear wristbands to help get the plays in quicker? Uh, we have. Uh, there have been times that, that certain plays that had a lot of vocabulary to it that we would use the wristbands. Um, but I think it's probably now at a point where we feel like the communication is such that we don't need to do that. And I think if there was any time that we needed it, it would have been this weekend with a lot of first-time starters, a quarterback that's a freshman, but he managed the communication system very well. Notre Dame plays longtime Big Ten rival Purdue in the home opener at Notre Dame Stadium next Saturday. The Irish have dominated this series and have won four straight, but Coach Kelly knows keeping that streak alive means beating an improving and talented Purdue team. Well, now a balanced offense, you know, one that can run it and throw it. Uh, a Big Ten caliber team that's, uh, you know, continues to get better and better. An interstate rival that uh, is going to play their, their very best. And probably the challenge that we'll have to be a little bit more balanced offensively. We liked the things that we saw against Navy in terms of how we played the game. Now the next challenge of putting a complete game together and, and being balanced on both sides of the ball. And that will do it for this week's season opening edition of Inside Notre Dame Football. We invite you to join us again next week for all the highlights of the Purdue Notre Dame game. Until then, thanks for watching and as always, go Irish. Inside Notre Dame Football with Brian Kelly has been brought to you by Team Notre Dame members Adidas. Gatorade, McDonald's, Coca-Cola, Sprint, and Xerox. Inside Notre Dame football is also sponsored by Bank of America, CBTS, Xfinity from Comcast, Mazda, Meyer, Notre Dame Federal Credit Union, Sirius XM Satellite Radio, and UPS.